First and foremost, I want to express my sincere apologies for any offense these harm or harm these reported statements have caused. I want to make it clear that I do not recall choosing those words, and it was never my intention to make statements that could be perceived as disrespectful or dismissive of Native American cultures or values. The Rapid City Area School District is committed to fostering an inclusive and respectful environment for all students, and I deeply regret any misunderstanding or miscommunication that may have arisen from the press release and the accompanying OCR report. Rapid City Area School's goal is to work collaboratively with all communities, including our Native American students and their families, to ensure that every student receives support and the resources they need to succeed. To clarify, my intention during the OCR interview was to highlight the unique challenges faced by our students, particularly in the areas of attendance and discipline. I recognize that the reported choice of words was inappropriate and has led to misinterpretations about who I am as a leader of Rhapsody Area Schools. I hope that my 56 years in this community and the 35 years within the district tell the full story of how I work with Indigenous families and students. My respect and desire for positive outcomes has been and will continue to be a focus for me. Moving forward, I'm committed to engaging in meaningful dialogue with Native American community leaders, parents, students, and to understand everyone's perspectives better and to work together on solutions that support the educational success of all of our students. I will also ensure that all communications reflect the respect and sensitivity our diverse student body deserves. I appreciate the opportunity to address these concerns and to reaffirm our district's commitment to equity and inclusion, and I truly wish to see positive changes in the areas of discipline, attendance, and advanced placement involvement.